In this tutorial series, we get into the essentials of how to make you and your orchestral instrument look and sound better. In this episode, we take a closer look at some microphone options for your recording. We'll show you the difference between the built-in microphone of a smartphone and a professional external microphone in various positions. And we'll talk about the difference between a mono recording and a stereo setup to enhance the experience. The easiest way to record your audio is to use the built-in microphone of your smartphone, tablet, or digital camera. But these microphones are often noisy, they lack clarity and frequency response, and they use compression and automatic gain correction. And they're always positioned where your camera is, which for most instruments is not ideal to capture their full sound. If you want to have the option to place the microphone in a position that is favorable for your instrument, and you want to control the difference between the direct sound and the sound of the room and the reflections, an external microphone is the right choice for you. Here are some options. A large diaphragm condenser microphone can add a more flattering quality to your instrument. With a cardioid pattern, it rejects sound from the back and focuses more on the sound in front of it. A good microphone will have little self-noise, a high dynamic range, and an even frequency response. For this tutorial, I chose the Neumann TLM-102, which is a very affordable professional microphone that is extremely easy to use and can capture the authentic character of any instrument. Let's hear how this compares to the built-in microphone of a smartphone. The closer you move the microphone to the instrument, the more dry and direct it will sound. The further you pull the microphone away, the more you can also hear the reflections and reverb in the room. Try to find the right blend for your performance and your instrument. A microphone with a small diaphragm can give you a very authentic sound that captures the room without any coloration. This Neumann KM184 is, as the TLM102, a cardioid pickup pattern that rejects sounds from the back. And the Neumann KM183 has a so-called Omni pattern, which means that it picks up sound from every direction, including the room and reflections, and is also able to capture even the lowest bass frequencies. If you would place these two microphones in the same position, the KM183 will pick up more of the room, but you can always move this microphone closer to your instrument, which will also give you a nice treble boost. If you record with just one microphone, you will end up with a mono recording with the sound being right in the center between your two speakers or in your headphones. And any natural reverb that is picked up by this microphone will also be just in the center behind the direct sound. For a more realistic experience, you can use two microphones to record your performance. There are various recording techniques for a stereo recording. The microphone technique we use in this tutorial is called a space pair or AB. We mount the two microphones in parallel on a stereo bar with a spacing between 25 and 30 centimeters. We have the choice between the omnidirectional Neumann KM183 for a more spacious feeling or the Neumann KM184 with its cardioid pickup pattern for a more focused sound, which will be a good choice in a very lively space. This will produce an image of a soloist that is wider than a single mono spot microphone can achieve, but is still appropriately restricted in width. 
To make the sound less reverberant, you can move the microphones closer to the source. Let's compare our mono recording with the stereo recording. Take your time to find the right position for your microphones, as sometimes moving them a couple of centimeters can make a big difference. 